Right, that time again. Scottish Cup first round on Saturday. How excited are you? Really excited, it's a huge game, you know, it's always every year the Scottish Cup when it comes around everybody's excited about it, you know, there's a lot of anticipation um, for the build up and obviously um, we have to get ahead of ourselves hoping to try and get through obviously the round and then like like any club I guess you always dream the Scottish Cup offers you that opportunity to try and dream and try and go on a cup run and who knows where it can take you but in terms of first and foremost taking care of the game on Saturday against Stuart, sure, we're all very excited, um, looking forward to it. Um, my mum's going to come to the game on Saturday, so it'll be the first time that she's came to Langs Park. Um, so that in itself is a really special moment. Um, and I guess it's particularly special because I have never seen my own club in the Scottish Cup. Um, due to Covid and the fact that I've been in France the last couple of times that we've, we've been in the Scottish Cup. So um, it's a lot of, lot of exciting things to look forward to this weekend. So what does the Scottish Cup mean to you and what's your favourite memory of the competition? So I think the Scottish Cup, I mean the first thing, first and foremost the actual cup itself is absolutely magnificent. When you look at it, you know, the, just the actual cup itself is it just, wow, it's, it's an amazing piece of art. Um, and then when you think about how old it is and the tradition um, and all of the clubs and all the great players that have played in the Scottish Cup and won it and they held it aloft. Um, my first real memory um, Scottish Cup, I guess, I think was back to 1988, I think. I think I was what, maybe nine, nine years old, ten years, nine I think I was. And it was the, the famous one where Gary Stevens made a, a bad back pass, scuffed his studs and Joe Miller nipped in and scored 1-0. Um, and I was devastated and I actually cried. I watched the game on TV and I, I remember crying. And it's the first time football really made me that emotional. I think I was crying when I think it was Terry Butcher scored the equaliser. Um, three or four minutes to go and it was disallowed. Um, and that was it, you know, so I think it's amazing football can do that, particularly the Scottish Cup. Um, and it's really, I mean, for us, it's one of Scotland's youngest senior football clubs. Um, and for me to create a club, I just bought the Caledonian Braves, playing, having the absolute privilege and the opportunity to play in one of the, the world's oldest cup competitions is an absolute, um, like I say, it's an absolute privilege. How important do you feel the Scottish Cup is for us as a club and how important is it is it to get a long run in the competition? Yeah, I mean I think it's like every every game and every competition it's important to win. Particularly the Scottish Cup because like it's like everything else, it affords you that opportunity to dream. Um, the hope is something bigger and better further down the line. Um, there's obviously the financial element to that, you know, the, the further you go in the competition the more money you get um, for, for prize money, which is obviously a factor to be considered. Um, but I think, you know, it's, it's again, it's a great opportunity for every club in the competition um, to go on Saturday, try and win. Um, it would be probably foolish of me to try and think beyond Saturday. Um, you know, we have to take care of business on Saturday first and foremost. But as a young, a young kid, you know, um, I think when we, as young, you know, young kids play football in the park or in the street, we're always dreaming and imagine of playing for our team, uh, winning games and getting the Scottish Cup run, like Roy the Rover still, you know, getting Rangers in the next round or Celtic in the next round or getting to the final. And everybody loves the kind of underdog story, you know, I think there was a film made, was it um, any, any, what was the film, with, um, Ali McCoy and Robert Duvall, Go For Glory or something like that, it was a film, you guys are too young for that. <laughs> but it was, uh, there was a film and it was all about that, you know, a wee team going in a glorious cup run, you know, so, that's the magic of the cup, you know, and it's that's foot, what football's all about. So our first, you know, step, if you like, on that journey starts on Saturday. And do you have a message for supporters um, ahead of the game at the weekend? Um, I guess the message for the supporters, first and foremost, is just thanks for your support. As always, you know, it's, it's greatly appreciated. And obviously, as a new club, um, every fan that we get in through the door um, is much, much appreciated just because they've shown so much goodwill to the club to take the time to come and discover a wee bit about the Braves and what we're doing and hopefully on Saturday we can put on a, a performance and give them a result that they deserve.